So we all set now, guys. We are all set now, guys. Are you ready just for this simple, uncut, beautiful, beautiful time I would like to spend with you on this March 23rd of 2021? It's hard to believe sometimes that uh, it's been three years. It's been three years since I last saw Miguel Beadle in New York, in Manhattan, when uh, he granted me with a smile in his face and a gin in his hand in a beautiful midtown Manhattan, when he told me, yes, 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 you are the first Canadian. You are the first Canadian to be see back. Ah, uh, and then two weeks after, when my colleague Suryu called me, actually she emailed me because I'm not on Facebook personally. My brand is, but not me. And and of course I was not in a group back then. And uh, yes, yes, what happened? I mean, uh, that. What I remember is that was a Saturday night. In 2018, I received that message from Sue with a link for NBC, I think, NBC Chicago, I don't know. And uh, at that moment, we didn't know. It fit the description, but we didn't know. And uh, that night, and I would like to cheer and shout out Frank Kusumari. Frank Kusumari, one of my great friends, a client, a friend someone who we share a lot of things beyond beyond this world. And you were my friend there with me that night. Uh, we're supposed to have a circle of shadow one thing, right? right? And finally, I used that space with your permission to actually express my sadness. Of, uh, I've lost a friend, a great agile coach, a great mentor and business agility. Yes, 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 it was. My dear Mike Beadle, gracias por todo. Gracias por todo, Mike. Rest in peace. And uh, I don't remember exactly the code from who it is, but after our experience here on Earth, what I know for a fact that we might not be here physically. But I'm telling you one thing, it's lately I feel Mike, as much as I feel my mom, because yes, my mom left also this planet. So for me, since the last three years, I have three griefs and I try to be in the present. Uh, it's really important to be in the present. And I would like to shout out uh, Mr. Appleton and all the people who came on February the 27th and this great gathering for Agile 20 Reflect Festival to honor Mike Biddle. Very thank you, thank you so much. I was speechless, uh, speechless at that moment um, because yes, for those who follow me on the Dare Real Agile and other things, I'm always talking and talking. Hello King B, welcome to the Instagram Live to honor Mike Biddle, our mentor in business agility. I don't know if you follow me for that reason or for the Just Say No movement, who knows? But this is my professional channel. And today I'm uh, truly grateful of, uh, thank you very much, uh, Teen, what's her name? D.N. Real, oh boy, that's hard to read with my whole eyes. But yeah, so very, the 27th of February was a great moment. Um, and, um, and someone, actually someone very important to Mike Beadle, uh, his wife, um, his wife tell us that after three years, we should be in the moment, we should be present and actually use Mike's ideas for business agility with Enterprise Scrum and spread it out into the world to change the world, to uncover new ways for the new world that is our new world, not the world of the elite. And so this is, this is for me, that was like, I really loved it when Barbara, I'm sure, I don't know if you're going to join us because I know in Poland right now, it's very late. But when you said that on February the 27th, because you're going to watch the replay, I found it like amazing. And, and by the way, oh, I just recognize you, D.N. Rielen. 
I think is my dear Sabine, isn't it? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something that right now uh, my wrist stream didn't work. So only those on YouTube will be able to see the little clip that I'm about to, to show uh, that Barbara Mijer, uh, the wife of our late Mike Beetle. So just to put you on, on context for anyone who are a new a newbie to business agility with conscious leadership uh, where we transform the world and the world of war, but also the world we live in. And uh, this con vid, I like to do this in French is con, like a con, you know, and vid, uh, that's nothing. That's nothing. When you're a business agilist, that's nothing because you could help any organization of any size, uh, any team, any people, any entrepreneur, any startup to actually show up in the world with greatness, uh, with uh, betterness and smarter way of providing customer experience. It's all about experience, guys. Our new generation reclaim experience, even in my responsible travel agency that I try to help and to make it survive here in the Quintana Roo. It's all about it. People are, don't want to travel anymore. They want to experience something. And this is only business agility. And the great idea of Mike Beadle. And yeah, to put you in context, Mike Beadle was one of the course and injury, the 17 that actually made this manifesto for Agile that was software development in 2001. But since then, with business agility, this is what we call business. It's for the entire enterprise, not just for software development. And um, these are the things that for me, it's so natural. So I'm so glad to be an entrepreneur, to be a digital entrepreneur, a digital nomad, working as an Agile coach, as a business agility coach, and to provide to an entrepreneur. I just kicked out some mini meetings today prospect client, they really want to transform and to give a better experience for their worker, for people who work for them and their product line. So this is all about it. So there's a future out there. There's a renaissance. Uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. See this moment we are in and just say no, just say no to a lot of things because we have to say yes. We have to say yes to be present. Huh? to have intention and our intention is to live free using our free will. And yes, I will dare speak like this on my professional brand Agile Lounge for Business Agility because I'm first and foremost a world citizen and I have rights, we all have rights and our birthright it's to be free, to be free to do enterprise, to be free to help each other to be free to experience life. We are not coming on this earth just to be told what to do, how to think, what to eat and everything. And togetherness, we will build castle. And this is one of the lessons I learned from my mentor, Mike Beadle, who left this earth, assassinated in the streets of Chicago on March 23rd of 2018. And since then, his spirit is still with us. In his view of business agility to help organization of any size to thrive and to provide a better customer experience, a better employee experience is still alive. And yours truly, as I call myself coach AF, yes, because I'm a coach as fuck, I'd like to spread that knowledge of enterprise scrum, business agility and everything. So without further ado, I would like to honor him by showing you an amazing video so those on Instagram, uh, you might not be able to see it unless I turn the camera back, but that's not a very, very good experience. You had a little conversation about that, about the entire conscious leadership and business agility. Amazing, King B. Especially if we just get in touch because I was uh, proposing my just say no video. Because you might find me more boring now. I will talk about enterprise scrum, business agility, conscious leadership. Also, DeFi. You know, DeFi. DeFi is for decentralized finance. That goes with that movement of renaissance. Huh? The, uh, the renaissance of self-managed, decentralized. It's really important that we create community decentralized, far away from big government, big tech, and everything. So thank you very much for being there. Nice to meet you. We will get in touch later today or tomorrow. Because I had a big day today. Uh, I don't know where you're from on this beautiful planet, but thank you for being there. Thank you for your message. And um, so without further ado, uh, I've got 10 people on YouTube and you are, I think, three on Instagram. 
So uh, I hope you uh, the song is good. So you might not see what I'm going to sh show, but it's a, it's a video made by my colleague Marina Alex from Moscow with the voiceover of Barbara Michaud, the widow of Mike Beadle, our mentor. And um, I would like to share this because it's a, it's a nice way to remember who was Mike Beadle as an entire person, as a whole person, should I say, in English. Sorry, I spoke Spanish all day in French, so I tried to get back to my English right now. Like that's the problem when you speak uh, more than one language. Sometimes your mind is not following uh, your thought. And I'm right now in my mind, I have the three language spinning in my mind. So I'm not even sure. Do I speak English right now? I'm not even sure of that. So <laughs> that's the beauty of live and being authentic. So let's share my screen on YouTube. So uh, I think guys, if you go on my page on my bio for you, uh, you could join on YouTube. That will be the live video. Uh, no, what? No, no. Okay, you'll tell me later. So anyways, I'm gonna share this for a moment. And then after I'm gonna close with some Q&A maybe for both the YouTuber and the Instagrammer. All right, so let's close the music behind me. <clears throat> and let's let's start this beautiful moment. I hope it's gonna work. I'm experimenting things right now without my restream. So let's see. So Instagram again. For a better experience, you could switch to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, you are going to hear this. We met years ago through our mutual passion for music. Specifically, he was a trance lover. And at some point, he completed a sunset to produce his own music. Sometimes the house was shaking from loud music, but I knew at the same time he was very, very happy. Through his extensive traveling around the world, Mike came to understand the complexity of the world more than anyone else I know. He was open-minded and respectful for all cultures. Time he was very, very He always had stories to tell, always something interesting and relevant. Hmm. He was polite, generous, and always a gentleman. I, I was and will always be very proud of him and his ability to walk into any situation or room and be that person to brighten everyone's day. He just had that effect on people. We miss authentic when I people. asked him like how he knew so much about Scrum, he explained to me that his PhD in physics helped him to see into the future of business. So am I. And this was his talent and a blessing. He was my genius. Mike was the best father to my children. We were madly in love and wanted to get married in Poland at the end of April 2018. Our two beautiful daughters would always remind me of Mike. <laughs> Each one of them is different and possess something unique from Mike. They are very smart and self-confident. Our life will never be the same. But this tragedy will never stop the immense love and admiration we have for him. I know he is now our guardian angel and he will stay alive in our hearts forever. I love you, Mike. Barbara.
I love you too, Mike. It's amazing that I, I, I didn't even know that Marina had filmed me and closed the video with, with my great friends from Enterprise Scrum. Oh my God. Yeah, muchas gracias, Miguel Bidol, the Latino at Snowbird in 2001, among the 17 innovators that create this agile manifesto for software development that now the real revolution is starting because we want to have a decentralized world, not only a world of work, but an entire world. And we are going to make it happen because it is our birthright to be free to help people to free themselves. And it starts, of course, at work. And then from there, we create community. Thank you for the love. I don't even know who is there still. If you could send me a little message. I don't know if it's Sabine or King B, or it was Marcus that was there. And let me go back to uh, this friend here on YouTube. So uh, I'm open to some question Q&A on both Instagram TV and that's all I had to share today uh, to remember this. I, I usually prefer to remember people on our birthday. Uh, thank you, King B. So yes, so for me, of course, uh, November, uh, excuse me, October 11, it's his birthday. I always do something to remind, uh, to wish him a happy birthday. It's, it's better. But because we are still into this agile 20 years uh, kind of festival of this manifesto and he was part of it, uh, I decided to to kick this, and uh, of course, uh, my great friend from New York, Sue Ru, uh, she did uh, the same today with another video uh, that you could see on LinkedIn and everything. So, so for me, uh, this guy he really changed my life, my professional life. But we share so many things in common, as you, as our wife mentioned below. Uh, he was a PhD in physics. In my case, I'm a dropped out of astrophysics. Uh, we both love gin, great gin. And in, I know in Quebec, we do a lot of great gin now. Uh, I'm a trans DJ. He was also a trans producer and other uh, music. So we share so much thing in common, our passion for Scrum and to bring people into um, a betterness and a smarter way of working together and providing especially the best ever customer experience. And, and right now, when I read something from King B here, I had to have a little conversation about that at the store earlier today. Yes, all these uh, shenanigans of uh, convidio, uh, they are actually attacking our free will. They are attacking our experience on this planet and everywhere. So uh, so we have to stand up and just say no to that. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that if Mike were alive, because Mike also among the community of business, agility and agile, he will be, uh, he was the disruptor. He was always disrupting this conventional agile because don't get me wrong, guys. I'm more than just the Montreal market. Right now, I'm remote working for eight months in uh, Quintana Roo and the Yucatan and the Estado del Sur de Mexico. And I'm serving clients on three continents. And here's the thing. Um, there's no conventional agility. And most of my folks in Montreal, especially the French one, shame on you because you don't understand subsension. You don't understand the real value of creating the best and the smart, the smart experience because we are responsible adults and autonomous beings and sovereign beings. So stop treat people like kids if, if you want to behave like adults. So that's the thing. So civil agility is going like this. So I'm sorry, I'm ranting right now because I'm so passionate about that. The mission of business agility, if you know it in the deep, it's, it's, it's more than just business. It's, uh, we have to be agile among, among ourselves and everything. So um, on that... On that, I think I'm gonna close this live. I share my moment. I thank Mike. We will remember you forever and ever. And I will make sure your great ideas of developing the society, developing the business, developing the free will of people and uh, to make people happy by a sense of fulfillment. If you're not fulfilled, if you don't achieve something for yourself and for the community, you cannot be happy and we'll make sure that this dark age of whatever pandemic it is that will transcend it with a renaissance a cyber renaissance but also a community and self-managed organized community 
and decentralized finance and decentralized everything. We don't need big government or big cooperation. We could do it. Let's do it in togetherness. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you for your rest in peace for Mike. Well, I'm not really a social media guy. I'm just, I'm just an agile coach. So I, I'm doing this because I love to express myself more and more on all subject. But thank you for being there, King B. Nice to meet you. I hope you're going to stay with me, even if I'm not just a, a real Chris guy uh, type of guy. But uh, you'll see I'm really vocal and I use business agility to open some mind and to awake people because it's really awakening. If, if you search on this, you're going to see. So thank you very much, my YouTubers. 10 YouTubers, about one right now on Instagram. So thank you so much and let's make it happen. Let's be sovereign. Just say no to all the fucked up centralized state and just say yes to decentralize everything. Cheers guys, mucho gusto. All right, YouTube. So thank you for that moment. Uncut, unscripted as usual. And this Friday, uh, noon Eastern daylight saving time, we are going to do a kind of a retrospective. It's gonna be a Friday live agile. Um, just to recap on a couple of things and maybe I've, I will answer a lot of my donator. Yes, because I, I had a lot of donator uh, with some questions. So we're gonna do this kind of an open session this Friday. So be there 12 o'clock.